Severe storms and reported tornadoes overnight in Oklahoma ripped roofs off buildings and left about 33,000 homes and businesses without power. Authorities said Sunday that at least 11 people were taken to hospitals with injuries that were not life-threatening. Local television footage showed downed power lines, walls peeled off homes, overturned vehicles. At the University of Oklahoma, school officials had urged students and staff to seek shelter and move to the lowest floor as the storms approached campus after midnight.
Among the drones that the US supplies to Ukraine in hundreds, a VBAT model has been discovered that is invulnerable to enemy radio interference. This is the development of the California startup Shield AI. The Wall Street Journal writes about this. Having tested the Californian UAVs and being impressed by their invulnerability to Russian jammers, Ukraine immediately requested 200 new units. One drone of this model costs about $1 million, but the wholesale price is significantly lower. VBAT is a reconnaissance drone that can also act as a bomber. It is special because it is powered by artificial intelligence technology and is capable of long-range flights. The UAV can independently maneuver over the battlefield, study it, and identify targets for strikes. It does not require a pilot or even a GPS system to do this. The VBAT platform is integrated with the HiveMind artificial intelligence system from Shield AI. This ensures its autonomy and the ability to make independent decisions in the field. AI allows the device to safely avoid obstacles and find optimal routes. The UAV can stay in the air without recharging for up to 12 hours, cover a distance of almost 1,000 kilometers while carrying about 11 kilograms of projectiles to drop on the target. Ukrainian specialists conducted very intensive tests of the Californian VBAT at their testing ground. They tried to suppress the drone with numerous electronic warfare systems used by the Russian army. None of the jammers had any effect on it. It continued to fly. The publication notes that the VBAT tests were also conducted near the front line. The drone flew almost 100 kilometers, entering the territory controlled by the Russian occupiers. It calmly flew over a zone that is inaccessible to most other UAVs, as it is tightly closed by Russian electronic warfare systems. The drone not only successfully completed the flight, but also detected an anti-aircraft missile system belonging to the occupiers. The Ukrainian armed forces took advantage of the opportunity and launched a missile strike on the Russian installation.